Well, numbers show thousands of young athletes in our state suffer concussions each year, but they don't always get reported. CBS 6 fact finder Kimberly Howard shows us how coaches, trainers, and technology are helping to change that in this special report. It's the season for head to head competition. And any way the whistle blows, the season for concussions. Ever have a coach tell you to keep your head in the game? Well, that idea is starting to change as experts insist even the most expensive helmet won't prevent a concussion. But this could. Heads out of completely out of tackle. The Shalmont Sabres are now modeling their tackling method after the Seattle Seahawks. Coaches say it's a safer way to play. Really what it is is a very similar method that they use in uh, rugby where we really focus on getting our kids heads on the play side of the ball and on the hip and there's no contact uh, helmet to helmet with that. Still roughly 4,000 young athletes in our state are treated for traumatic brain injuries like concussions each year. For the past two years, nearly 200 concussions have been reported at Shenandoah Central Schools alone. And unfortunately this year we're, we're, we're off to kind of a strong start. Yeah! We've already had uh, roughly a dozen concussions since we came back to preseason in August. It's athletic trainer Rick Nizek's job to spot those concussions and to make sure a student is symptom free before getting back on the field. They will get evaluated by, uh, by a physician and then we have to put them through our protocol in terms of return to play. It's New York State law to have a plan in place. Shen uses a cognitive testing program called IMPACT, which charts an athlete's health history, memory, and reaction time before and after a concussion happens. Have your eyes closed for me. But Alice so Medicine is taking concussion management a step um, further. The Neurocom Balance Master is a relatively new high-tech system that guides athletes through a series of balance tests. We're looking at the physical, what happens after the injury. Doctors say more than 40% of athletes with concussions return to play too soon, and that makes them four times more likely to get another injury in the future, up to six times more likely to get another concussion. So if there's other signs and symptoms that we can catch, just another layer to add to that examination. It keeps that child safe by not allowing them to return to play before they're really ready. Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.